Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 12 and verses 24 and 25. But be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Consider what great things he has done for you. Yet if you persist in doing evil, both you and your king will perish. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Father, as your word tells us, you set before us the path of life today. You set before us the way into death. Now help us to walk the pathway of life. Father, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Be sure. Now, beloved, we have to keep our, our feeling of, of uh, wonder about the Lord. And sometimes as you do uh, Christian things, they become things that you do automatically. You know, uh, I'm sure you all have heard uh, um, the, the children's uh, nighttime prayer, um, before I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. You know, that prayer, which started out, I'm sure, is a wonderful thing, but it became a, a, a very, a, something just children did by rote. It wasn't something that was, was, um, uh, and maybe it was something that they didn't even think about. Uh, beloved, sometimes we become so accustomed to doing things that they stop having spiritual meaning. It's just something we do. And so it, uh, maybe you feel that way Sunday morning service. You come to church because you always come to church. You're a Christian and that's what Christians do. And then you sit in church and you search the internet on your phone the whole service. You don't participate in worship. You don't sing. Maybe you don't you don't pray when everybody else is praying. Maybe when the word is being happening, uh, you you're looking at your phone and doing texting or a game or something. Uh, I re I remember a friend of mine uh, was uh, talking about um, he he moved around his church while he was doing things and and he saw somebody that had a phone and an iPad open and he thought he was really studying the word he had to have two as he's preaching this guy and so he wanders around and he looks and the ipad is a baseball game and the phone is some kind of uh he's watching he's watching tv in church he's watching a baseball game and on the phone he's doing some kind of candy game and so his mind is totally consumed by these two things and he didn't have anything to do with with the church beloved serve the lord Fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Consider what great things he has done for you. Always keep that in mind. Beloved, there are two ways. There's fear the Lord and serve him. Consider his great things. If you persist in doing evil, both you and your king will perish. And beloved, that's before us today. If we seek evil, if we persist in evil, if, if the evil is that thing that we want to do, we will perish. We'll be destroyed. Evil, sin, destroys us. It's the way of the devil. He's a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. And just like a lion, he will destroy us. Sin ruins our lives. Sin tears us apart. And so, beloved, instead of, of sin, let us have grace. Instead of turning away to evil, let us fear the Lord and serve him. Serve the Lord faithfully with all your heart. And beloved, one of the things that, that we should always try to do is remember what God has done for us. It's easy to remember the difficult times. I mean, they stand out, right? You remember those hard things, but let's remember the good things God has done for our church, for our people. For each other. Let's remember the many blessings that God has poured out for us and on us. Beloved, hear the word today. Hear what God speaks to you and I. Not just the nation of Israel in the time of Samuel, but Samuel spoke then to those people as they were gathered together so that we could hear and we could follow his word today. Be sure to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. 
consider what great things he has done for you. Yet if you persist in doing evil, both you and your king will perish. May God bless you as you go about your day.